Gunchi, the designer of game shots, and I am here to today to inform you about three quick things and then about part three. So first thing, uh, as you know, uh, next week is the Spiel uh, 2022 show and we are there. Uh, uh, that's from last year. So you can see uh, we are uh, in Hall 1, so it's position 1A. A, a, 106 so as last year so as you see that's from last year no big deal now so we are here to left from uh, main door main door so you can visit us that's the first thing second thing is uh, uh, I generate today a link for Kickstarter campaign so you can subscribe uh, it and then wait until March uh, 23 uh, third info is uh, yeah we have a new version of game so 0.975 so almost finish. We have also some new graphic and stuff. Uh, the printed rules are before printing. So it's on Monday. And then we go. Uh, yes, and that's probably all from the small thing. And now we can look together for this uh, part three samples. So as you see, we have only six of them and why I also have <clears throat> uh, because price and today's situation I just made uh, six samples from four companies so this is the first one from honest game pretty nice box You'll find here a new dice, so only one color. Yes. We have here spare pieces. And otherwise it's the same as before, as you know, but we have a past uh, part, so it's another four colors. So green one, purple, pure piece, and the yellow. Then we have here this uh, start page. Here are new new player aids, so in color of the player. So there are some uh, update things, as you can see. And okay, it's not last version, but it's pretty late version. So, uh, I'm looking for you like it. So, here are some scoring uh, sheets, no big deal. And we have here this uh, boards. So we have 13 boards, not 12 as the last time. So is the, is the, or all the same size. So we have four overview boards for uh, four for um, modes. So you have this new fast mode where is uh, no agriculture economic. It's only money, and it's quicker, and it repeated. So it's a pretty good way to start with this game. Then you have this base mode, so it's pretty the same, but you have extra agriculture. As you see here, you have you no know, three times access, but you have this uh, sowing and harvest and feeding and so on. So that's not so big step uh, for you from 
fast mode to basic mode you have all units in the game here and yeah I, I, I find it pretty solid but it's easier with uh, first game in fast mode definitely then is here is the original game so with prestige, star bonuses and so on and then here this extend mode what is actually pretty maneuvering game then you have this uh, scale of victory point because on the map, on the new map, it's not no anymore. Then you have here this uh, player boards in uh, in color. So you have here now uh, also some diplomacy. So you just uh, collect uh, enemy tokens here, and it's something about uh, as a manpower. So you can eliminate all uh, normal unit, and then the player play only with uh, mercenary. You have here this uh, so money and prestige. Here are the four goals, so you remember it. Here are some diplomatic tokens plays, and here this uh, diplomacy. So you all important info are in player eight, but on your player board are the rest what you have to need to know. So you just check it here or here. Then uh, there are star bonuses for original mode. Then is uh, this uh, extended mode rules, so command level, level of command and cohorts moral. So you just uh, marked, uh, marked what's your actual position here. And then is here this battle board, which is now two parts. So you just put it so, and there are extended rules. So it's pretty uh, much under control now. So it's it's better. So we uh, I slowly developed this game. It's it's more detailed in every aspect in uh, this first game, so this fast mode, and also in this uh, expanded mode. So here is nice map. To, to, uh, so. both sides so here is the first one it's uh, orient so it's the ancient time so it's 1050 150 before christus so you have this standard situation uh, here is uh, desert so it's, it could be pretty uh, interesting so it's a lot of mountains um, yeah, you can see it later. And here is then, uh, let's say it's today's Ukraine. And as you see here, a Crimea Peninsula. And here is about Huns. So it's it's uh, similar to Vikings. So it's pretty dynamic map. So we have one player that is pretty uh, strong in military and he just push the other players. We have here a new rules about big rivers, which is something like sea game fields. So you need to cross it with ships or in winter when it's frozen, but you have to roll the dice and so on and so on. And here is frontier for the Roman player, who is the ultimate defender here, because the Germans, German tribes and the Huns are just pushing here and he has this position here. So it's pretty interesting, but uh, the Roman player has not so manpower, so it, uh, he need to choose wisely what he want to recruit. So it's, yeah. I would think you like it. So that's the first producer. Here is the Honest Game 2, so the same version. Then we have the killing. 
that's our also long partner. He, he made uh, it three years now. Uh, this box is a little bit dark, I think. I don't know why. He made uh, one mistake here. So it's pretty nice production. He just made only this dice, these cubes, a little bit too big. I don't know why. So it's 14 millimeter what we use for collector edition, but yeah, it's no big deal. I only find it's not enough place in small map as by these. And the second thing is you just don't see the quite good. This is too big. So for another player, you just don't know what is the stand of building here. But otherwise, the perfect quality and these uh, these factories match uh, the molds. So this uh, that's that's not silk print. This dice. So I think here, yeah, here you can see it. Here is the silk print version, and here is uh, embossing one. So this is a Kellen. Then we have. Game beings, so they are pretty nice person. I like them, and they do a lot of to make it pretty nice. Uh, yeah, they have. Uh, an, yeah, so each company make it a little bit different and i just uh, make a summary well, summary from it and uh, i tell what's the best okay here is a more red color also single print and just i just tell uh, what uh, who made which thing uh, in best way and last producer is a uh, rising game hr they make glossy one and I am pretty satisfied with these uh, dice. Okay, they are silk print now, but this, this color is perfect. Just like it. I hope in the show you just can compare it when you want. And also this color are I think is varnished or something like that because it it's it's look pretty good, I think. Okay, no big deal. Uh, this uh, last box box is same. It's also from Rising. So this version of game is for uh, review. So I just have something like eighty pieces of box for this year show from last year. I just updated it. And we bring also the new uh, news. So this is the part three. And now all three part is all three parts are now the complete edition of the game. So you just cannot buy this version part three. You just can uh, check it. You can just uh, yeah try it. You can try this uh, co collection edition, what we have uh, always in the show. But uh, you can buy this part one and part two. Why is it, why is it important? So you just can uh, buy this game and play it. And then uh, in Kickstarter you can, you can just pledge the update or the upgrade edition or the upgrade pledge. And you just don't need to wait until the game is released, and you 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 have this limited edition, and you have uh, you lose nothing. And uh, in this time in war in Ukraine and uh, and other things, it's pretty unsure with this low, high high cost from shipment high cost from energy and so on 
it's pretty dark time for Kickstarter, as you know, maybe uh, yesterday it was uh, uh, end of the Kingdom Come board game campaign and so on. It's pretty hard now to produce something and ship to customer and customer they expect low prices and we are in a situation with high prices and uh, all people just want to be in safe with their money and their cost and that's pretty not good situation for now but i hope uh, in march it it would be successful and we just release this game the campaign is about uh, we have here Kickstarter campaign for part one so this is these and when we reach the goal and unlock some stretch goals we unlocked in 200% of these uh, main goal uh, pledge for part two so it's for me it's a good way how I can su sufficient reach some good numbers for produce so let's say 500 and then with more I just can risk to produce another part because when I unlock all three parts and I he here have let's say 50 pieces here 50 pieces and here 300 and I reach the goal I just want to lie to you or make this uh, uh, unrealis in real not realistic goals for campaign and so so I just make it so so you just can buy part one with professional graphic and all the thing and then I unlock this one by 200 this one by 300 and when we are super successful I don't think so but when by 500 we have also this uh, collector edition unlock so that's from me I uh, looking forward to see you in uh, Essen in this that's now in three or four days and i hope you just buy your uh, game and you just review this one or rate them for another people because this is pretty important because this is no name game still so you just help me and for these people who has uh, uh, who have uh, both uh, this uh, game in last uh, spiel uh, they there is a free update to new version so you just come to me and I just uh, give you a new boards a new player art and so on and new rules I don't have here rules we have a nice illustration for rule books now and so on so just come to visit us and I also don't have a name for people who has this uh, small number of series for other, another year, but not here. And here these uh, six uh, games are for review. So when you are a journalist, you just can come to me and we can discuss uh, if you are the one of these six people who has the part three. Okay. Good, thank you for your time and uh, see you later. Bye.